Hi everybody, my name is Ishan Kashyap and I'm here to show you some very simple techniques and recipes as waste being the ingredient for Kolkata's Traveller India's Dine and Drink Festival. Let's get started. I'm going to show you first how to make a homemade lemon jello. The idea is to use simple vodka, you can get it easily. Use the peels of lemon. I am also making a Turkish lemon preserve for which essentially all the peels need to be taken out and the preserve will probably be ready in two to three weeks but the lemon cello is delicious with the peels. I'm gonna show you, it's super simple and then that can be probably be stored in your refrigerator for a very long time or as a gift. So let's get started with that. I'm gonna take around six to eight lemons. You can even take a gondoraj, which is uh, very, very beautiful and fragrant. The, the peels are essentially what we need because the alcohol will really get infused into the peels of it. Um, anything which is essentially porous, maybe like coffee beans, coffee powder, herbs, um, citrus peels, is best to make infusion. You can use gin, you could use vodka and even bourbons to make a good infusion at home. Uh, so nothing genuinely goes out for a waste. So first I'm going to just, uh, we're preparing two things. We're preparing a Turkish lemon preserve um, where I use it very, very often because I use the preserve for stews and uh, even to make lemon risotto. It's delicious. So the idea is to make the skin slightly thin and take all the peels out. You could even grate it, honestly. I um, even use a lot of zest from lemon to uh, gondoraj, grapefruit, pomelos to kind of cold dry them um, in a dark place and use salt. So you even can make citrus salts for your tequilas and for your uh, mezcal or margaritas. It's, it's really, really good. The other very important thing to note while taking citrus peels is that try and take the peel out as thin as possible so that the inner lining of the the, the pit which is the white skin is uh, not really stuck to the citrus peel because that may make the infusion slightly bitter it's okay to have the, the white part of the skin for the preserve because the salt will really cure it balance it out and make it softer and all the um, essential oils will be released so here my oil, the lemons are there. So here are all the lemons, which I'm gonna put it here. And these are the peels. So I'm gonna cut the line, just very simple, just into half. And I'm gonna give you the exact recipe for the ratio of the lemons and salt. That's all you need. You could probably infuse it with some herb or spice as you like. I'm going to take this bowl and add this here. Make sure that the you use a glass container because it's just better. Um, there would be a lot of moisture which would come out essentially of the lemon. So always keep a little space in the jar and uh, uh, keep tilting it so that every part of the lemon is exposed. I'm just going to put some sea salt. and just leave it before I put it into the bottle for almost half an hour so that the salt kind of dissolves gradually and uh, I'm going to show you what I made around 2-3 to three weeks back which is right ready here so that you kind of get an idea uh, are these preserves so this is the same recipe um, in a glass big jar and I keep tilting it so that um, each part of the lemon gets preserved and you'll see later once you take it out after almost three three and a half feet and i normally store it in in a darker place uh, not really in the sun because i want them to really get preserved slowly and the the moisture almost becomes very syrupy so it's delicious now the best part are the lemon peels which are here i'm gonna just cut them very very roughly because i don't want to have a very proper cut. If, if whatever you enjoy, you could do that. I'm going to add all the peels into a large container. There's also a trick, let me tell you. 
on your one of the palms just keep a little um, uh, slices of the citrus just tap it a little bit you know it kind of uh, is a little trick uh, is, is, is uh, a little performance um, but it also extracts all the oils out so we're going to just peel all the citrus to these I'm going to add uh, caster sugar um, I've tried different variations of sugar but this works the best and now I'm going to put uh, vodka there you go this needs to sit for two weeks and your lemon cello would be ready uh, definitely give it a stir so that everything kind of gets dissolved and this needs to go in your favorite bottle absolutely tight make sure you mark it on a date so that you don't forget and a week to, to one and a half week is just perfect I normally like to infuse it really longer so that I feel like there are more uh, flavors coming out but five to seven days is more than enough if you keep it more it may turn bitter so I'm going to use a couple of these stems in our mixture of vodka and lemon peel for the lemon cello and the same thing I also do with thyme and any fresh dry herb I'm going to use this decanter So our decanter is kind of ready and I'm going to label it very quickly so that I remember after two weeks we need to use this for our brunch. So I'm going to show you the first cocktail which is uh, perfect for this weather, perfect for Christmas and perfect in between a cocktail and a dessert, no problem. Uh, we're going to use our lemon cello. I'm going to need a cocktail shaker or you can use anything at home honestly the idea is to kind of mix all of them together nothing is super complicated and of course um, do as you feel like as long as the proportions are correct but it's okay even to kind of add a little bit extra alcohol Always check your shaker, it's kind of locked and then Alright, you take your favorite glass We're gonna add our lemon cello martini right here You can even sip it absolutely straight with a little dash of your zest. I'm going to top it up with some meringue. Almost like a dessert and make it festive. You can use a siphon or in case if it's not too complicated, anything which is easy for you. And now I'm going to garnish it with some fresh zest. I think that's the best way to The limoncello with peels of lemon, a little bit of meringue and lemon zest as well. We made it slightly nutty with a hazelnut flavored liqueur. You can make any twist to it and hope you enjoy this cocktail. My next recipe is absolutely delicious. This is coffee which is used, the coffee powder from the machine or your French press. I collect all the powder and I'm going to infuse my gin with coffee. The idea is to make a very strong and delicious Negroni. I bought this coffee from Madurai, so this is the last batch of coffee that I have. I love 
the best espresso and from the machine, I never throw coffee powder. You can use it for your soil, for your plants, you can even use it for scrubs. And at times I've even infused it with chocolate to make a jew with lamb. So the coffee chocolate the jew. Uh, never throw coffee can be used. So this is right here. This is fresh coffee from the machine. Um, I normally put it in an airtight container. And I normally aerate it a little bit so that there's no mold which forms on it. But this one is a very, very simple one. I'm going to add the moist coffee powder. I normally like to have a dark rose so the color also becomes really amber for the gin. That's all. You just need one ingredient, coffee, which is left over, which has already been brewed from the machine. It's already, the pour is already opened up. And I'm going to use some gin into it and keep it for almost two days and use a filter paper to kind of extract it out. So super simple. Make sure you kind of mix it well, store it in a bottle or even like a cold brew, keep it in the fridge for maybe overnight and strain it the next day. The, the Depends on the quality and the type of bean that you're using, but a coffee flavored Negroni or maybe making it into an espresso martini using vodka is really, really nice. I'm going to show you how it looks after filtering it. This is the color where I double um, filtered it and here I have my coffee infused chip. But here it's super simple. I'm going to use only three ingredients. I'm going to use my coffee infused gin. I've got a mixture right here of uh, Campari and sweet vermouth. And there's a little different way how I serve it. So have a look. It's always also good to use a dry gin because it kind of gets the um, extracting flavors of uh, the coffee really, really well. Uh, avoid using something that is very floral, very fruity because it will kind of conflict with the, the purpose, the, the idea of making a coffee negroni. So, so it's good to use dry gin. Now I'm going to show you how I serve it. I normally take a little espresso coffee pot. This is our lovely coffee Negroni ready. And this is how you enjoy it. I hope this was super, super easy and you guys want to try it out because this is one drink that you would really, really enjoy. Mm. Perfect to start uh, the evening. Uh, a perfect aperity word drink is right here. In between a coffee to just wake you up and get you ready for the weekend. I hope you enjoyed the entire session and these little tips to make your bar game really upgraded and enjoying waste as an ingredient. Cheers to that.